Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you how to build this overhead camera rig. Let's get to it. So this is everything you're going to need. Uh, you need a tripod, I'm using a very cheap one. You're also going to need a mini tripod. Uh, you actually only need this part over here, the ball head. Uh, since I have this old one that's kind of broken, I'm going to use this one. And you need a piece of wood. This one measures about one meter. Uh, you're going to need a drill, some wood glue, some drill bits, screws and a pencil. You're going to need a handsaw because I'm not using any power tools and you're going to need a square or a ruler. I think that's pretty much everything. There's a few other pieces that I'm going to use but you don't necessarily need to use them. The first thing I'm going to do is to make a quick release tripod plate like this one. Uh, I'm not going to use the tripod one because I want to still be able to take it out and I just rather make a small one like this out of wood and I guess that will work just fine. So I'm going to use this one, trace it onto the end of the wood like this and cut a small piece off like this. So I measured my tripod plate and it's about five centimeters wide. I'm going to make mine 49 millimeters. So it's a one millimeter shy of the tripod plate width. So now that I have this piece over here, that that's pretty much the same size as my tripod plate. Like this. I now need to make the those bevels onto my piece of wood, just so the uh, my new tripod plate fits on the tripod. So I just mark the angles that I need to cut, and I think I'm going to try to use my saw to take most of the material out and then I'm going to use my file uh, and some sandpaper to finally turn it. Trying to cut this onto an angle. That turned out better than I expected. Let's see how it fits on the tripod. We are going to put it right here. Open, lever, and I guess it's too big, isn't it? Because it doesn't go. So once you have your quick release plate, you're going to maybe leave 20 centimeters or so and you're going to want to glue it, glue it onto your piece of wood. Put some wood glue, spread it around and glue it in place. So while the glue on this part over here dries, I'm going to put it aside 
and I'm going to start working on my small ball head tripod. So as I said in the beginning of the video, this tripod is pretty much uh, broken. It's a very old tripod. Legs uh, are not secure anymore. So removing that, we just have this little ball head. And that's going to be perfect to mount our camera onto the camera rig. So I experimented early and I found a screw. I don't know if you can see, but there's a small hole over here. And this screw is perfect to fit over here. So the plate had a few minutes to dry and I'm just going to use a few of these screws and place them onto the plate and it will speed up the process of this build. Let's see how it fits on the tripod. So we have our tripod over here. Let's see if I can do this one hand. So you insert these parts over here first. Like this, and then you... Let's help a little bit with the other hand. Ooh. And it's secure. As you can see, it wobbles a little bit. Maybe because the tripod isn't a very good one. I could probably use a better one. Let's but as you can see now, I have an arm all the way from there to here. And I'm going to mount my camera over there. And let's see, just tell you why I left some of the arm sticking on the back. Uh, since my camera is quite heavy and this part is going to always be heavier than this side, uh, when once I put my camera over here, it would be very unstable, as you can see, and it would fall off or tip the tripod. So my thought was to put some weight over here that will counterbalance the weight of the camera. We have our tripod plate over here. We're going to go to the other side, this side. We are going to put our ball head over here, something like, like this. Let's drill one hole right here. Let's go. That's one overhead rig arm pretty much done. As you can see, we now can flip our ball head 90 degrees, like this. And our camera is going to point down. Let's experiment, shall we? So, we need to put something over here that we can attach some weight to it. On one of these uh, IKEA bags, that it came with this 90 degree thing and I think that's going to be enough to secure it to the other end of the arm and then we can hang stuff off over this like a, a bag full of paint cans or I don't know something that's that has some weight to it. Let's install this one. Found the bag and I'm going to use a can of paint that's about half full. That's probably going to be enough weight, but we'll see. If not, we just add some more. So now I'm just going to take my tripod, put it something like this over here. I'm going to attach my quick release plate. And as you can see now, it wobbles. It's very wobbly. Let's take my phone. Put it right over here and it wobbles even worse. Now let's take our bag and we're going to put our weight on it and just secure it on this side. Now we can control how much 
we want we want the arm to look back, look down, and now we can uh, choose how much of an angle or how much height we want from uh, our recording device to our table, and we're set. Let's see how it looks. So as you can see now, I can do product reviews, something like this. I can show you what I'm working on. Either it's an iPhone or, or something else. And yeah, I can show you pretty much anything, like my drill chuck. That's a crazy good thing to show you. And I can show you my small tripod that I was using to help me with this video. I can show you my lens cover. That's a nice one. It has springs in it. So yeah, I hope you like it and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.